I'm Howie Koss. Uh, I'm down in Antarctica. I'm a graduate student of Steve Picard, the principal investigator of the Offshore New Harbor Project. Typical day for me starts off uh, lately with Marv singing uh, little show tunes to everybody at 6.30 in the morning uh, to rouse everybody out of bed. Um, throw a couple layers of clothes on that I've taken off for the night and go to the galley for breakfast and a cup of coffee. We're usually out by 8 a.m. So we're laying down the roadmap for the seismic team to follow along and get all of their data points. And I've been working on flagging the transect lines. I'm advancing the flagging line here uh, that we're on line two, which is 16 kilometers long, 15.9. And at the front of the line here, I've got this cable that's uh, measured out to 100 meters. And I advanced that from the last flag that we planted. Um, I've already got flags labeled up here, so I'll go grab the next one. And what I do is I just straighten out this cable make sure it's taut, make sure I got my 100 meters, and then by looking down the line here, if the person on the transit's done a, a fairly decent job, I should just see one flag. So I can line things up and get pretty close to the spot, which I think is right about here. And then uh, just listen for the person on the transit. I gotta move it one inch to the right. Good to drill, over. And now we're good to drill. So this flag will get drilled here and uh, we'll move on to the next one. Typical day ends, we come back to camp, it's usually around dinner time. Uh, throw the boots off and change socks and just kind of relax. And um, now that we have internet at the camp, uh, I've been spending some time catching up on emails. Well, I'm most excited uh, down to be down here um, for the Antarctic experience, to be in Antarctica, to be working in Antarctica, to be generating some, or part of the process of generating data um, that's you know going to be really useful as far as understanding uh, climate change of the past and hopefully be able to use that to understand future climate change. 